Say, mister, are you one of them badass rock stars? Oh, Jen, you scared the crap out of me. I'm sorry, babe. Hey, 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 Lewis, what's up? This huge freak in the crowd kept staring at me like some whacked out psycho. Well, maybe you never checked out your audience before, but you guys don't exactly share the same fan base as Kenny G. Oh, this was different. It looks seriously creepy. Ooh, that reminds me. Grab your money and let's split. We gotta go visit the landlord. Great save, man. Come on. If we don't pay him tonight, we're gonna be living in a box. Ah, uh, Jen. He never used to complain. I think we're growing apart. I'm 21 now, Lewis. Too old to be living like a bum. Plus, I'm gonna need study space once I start college. No autographs. Creep. Good night, guys. See you next time. See you, buddy. What is that thing? Hey. Don't make me hurt you. Is this your Jane Doe? Yeah, I came in two nights ago. Hasn't come round yet. She's a fighter, though. I've lost plenty with injuries less than hers. Uh, broken ribs, lung punctured in two places, ruptured spleen. What'd you do, get hit by a truck? Yeah, she left some nightclub with her boyfriend. Yeah, it looks like a gang jumped them. Left her lying outside the club. They found him several blocks away. He's in the room three doors down. So, what do you think? 50-50. Come on, doctor. There's a coffee and donut downstairs need your attention. That was one freaky dream. This a uh, hospital? What the hell happened? Oh my god. I'm dead? No, 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 I don't want to be dead. Things were just starting to work out. Lewis and I were just. Oh my god. Lewis. What happened to us? Huh? What the hell are you? A bit short for the Grim Reaper, aren't you? You're not dead, Jennifer. But if you don't be quiet and listen to me, you soon will be. My name is... Well, let's say you can call me Scree. I've been sent to find you, to show you some very important things, and to enlist your assistance. Right. Well, Scree... Glad I'm not dead. But first you better explain how come I'm looking down on myself. She is creeping me out. 
Your corporeal form, the one still lying there, is very weak, close to death, perhaps, but not yet lost. That is only part of you. The other part, your spirit, that's you. I set it free from your body so that we could talk. In fact, now that it's free, you'll find you can travel to places you've never even imagined. Right, so I'm like an astral projection or something? Essentially, yes. So what does that make you? I am but a humble servant to my lady, and to you I'm a friend, someone you need to trust. Now quickly, you must come with me, we're both vulnerable here. Okay, but only because I'm intrigued. I never been in astral projection before. Okay, Jennifer. What the hell? My God. What just happened? Where are we? Questions, questions. We're no longer in Mortalis. We've stepped through a rift gate into the Nexus. Still, huh? As I said earlier, your spirit is no longer constrained by flesh. You have left the physical mortal world and now stand in the Nexus, a convergence point for energies drawn from the four realms of oblivion. Sounds like one of Lewis's fantasy novels. This is real, Jennifer. I know you mortals think you're at the heart of everything, but believe me, you're not. Now please try to absorb all of this quickly. There really is no time to waste. Okay, I'm trying. Just one thing, though. No matter where we are, you gotta stop calling me Jennifer. You sound like my stepdad. It's Jen. I am to give you these. They are devices that will help you to learn of your true self. And if my lady is correct, they may afford us some protection. What am I supposed to do with this? It's a vambrace. They fasten around your wrists. Please, it's important that you trust me and just put them on. I've just jumped out of my skin, left my body in some hospital, been dragged through a rift gate. Rift? Gate. And I'm in oblivion. Vambrace? Not a problem. Precisely. Ooh, shiny. And pretty comfy for a pair of metal doodads. Could have been made for me. They were. So, uh, how do I get them off? You don't. And this guy wants me to trust him. This lady you keep mentioning, who is she? I serve Arella. She is all that is good and pure. She is strength and virtue. She is righteousness, she is nobility. She's a person, right? She is not a person. She is not mere flesh and bone, emotion and desire. She is one of two primal forces that govern the universe. She is order. And the other would be? The other would be Abaddon, the embodiment of chaos, lord of corruption and decay. He is my lady's eternal foe and the reason for my being. Right. Uh. You know you're gonna have to introduce me to this Arella. Oh, I shall. And she will be most relieved to see you. But first, I must show you more of Oblivion. Please follow me. Scree? Will all this start making sense anytime soon? <laughs> Is there nothing you can say that won't leave my head spinning? I think that perhaps... your Lewis may have been brought here. Lewis? Lewis here? You've got to help me find him.
Come on, this way. 